This gotta be the blackest Korean I ever seen. He been going in almost two hours. I've been calling since I've been here. Might be stopped up. What's wrong with the house phone? You rush a man out of a restaurant. No, Jonathan, I've been here since 8 o'clock. Look at it, got the 9 30. You to 8 to 9 30, he ain't be out there. Shit. No, you're not in the bathroom. I know you ain't in the bathroom, are you? Two hours? Hey, shit. I got the bubble good. Rocky, call me. I've been calling you. I don't know where you at. Shit. That motherfucking ass was probably in the fish. Shit. Nobody check messages. You think you want fishing? I think so. You know the number to the fish creek? Call the fish creek. That's crazy. He don't know what the motherfucking ass here. here. You call the fish creek. Jonathan, shut up. Uh, that's get on your nerve with that. How I call them call them fish creek, Jonathan? <laughs> you know, that kind of shit get on your nerve with that shit. This gotta be the oh, blackest oh, Korean I ever seen. I'm Bahara Kokadash. Now by Shimei Ashai, by Hashim, with Kakadash, Barak Atham, the Ba'anasa Apostles, who are elders who rule well, bless society, teach to you, brothers out there teaching and during true sincerity. Um, also, um, this is an um, announcement of the uh, the blowing of the trumpets. It's uh, Monday night sundown. Again, the blowing of the trumpets is uh, Monday night sundown. Um, you know, I just uh, advise brothers, you know, do your studies. You know, and uh, honor the high holy days. But uh, this lesson, uh, GMS and Antiquities, is just going into, uh, as you see in post-production, um, I purposely have a, uh, what what looks like to be an Asian, you know, getting busy. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, going into the wheat amongst tears, okay? So, because this is a subject that Jake, being superficial, they don't like they don't like this subject and um you know let's get into the word super superficial in itself and then we'll get into scriptures superficial as an adjective it says uh an anatomical and mathematical uses uh of or relating to a surface okay pertaining to the surface surface upper side uh above over super mean over or face uh, meaning not deep without through understanding cursory comprehending only what is apparent or obvious and in this case what's apparent and obvious is the way we look you know um, and the crazy thing is how the most high set it up is, is you can't judge a book by its cover you know because you all Israel is not of Israel you know and I mean that in the sense of just because you looked apart don't mean that you are you are um, suited to be an israelite you know what i mean is like to be a prophet to keep the laws because there's people that are actually israelites by blood that do look the part that are by blood uh, are the part but they aren't part of the fold so that's how cold it is you got it you can have a person that if you're in a relationship and they're doing everything to get the draws you know, and then superficial people will believe that, you know, and then when they get what they want, then they change. Right. So you don't want, you know, uh, you don't want to be superficial. The scriptures say a, a, a fool believeth every word, but a prudent man look at well to his goings in the book of Proverbs. OK, so going back to the subject at hand, dealing with the, the wheat amongst tears. So let's get that scripture. So I can All right, so we're gonna go into Matthew's chapter uh chapter um thirteen to twenty four it says another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sold tares among the wheat and went his way. So uh, if you I've done a lesson on this a while ago, but I just said again, you know, if I, I, I implore brothers to, you know, look up brothers and sisters to look up wheat and look up tares and you'll see that they look exactly alike, but they're different. OK, 
but while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. So, you know, that sleep is synonymous with us being uh, asleep to our our ways, because one of our ways is that we don't mingle with other other uh, nations. You know what I'm saying? Now, as a man, it's, o it's OK to deal with other nations, but it's frowned upon because, you know, um, you're not you got to keep out. We have to keep our seed pure. You know what I'm saying? Uh, pretty much it's not a sin, but it's frowned upon, you know, because Moses done it, you know, uh, um, it's like it, um, Abraham, you know, um, I believe it was Abraham. My thought escaped me right now. But uh, they, pretty much through Hagar, you know, and that proves that the Lord, you know, even though Abraham did that, you know what I'm saying, uh, and had a child through Hagar, which was Ishmael, you know, until Isaac was the seed called. But it was pretty much because, you know, of of the mother being of the proper lineage, you know, and the same thing with Isaac. The Lord told Isaac to specifically go to a certain lineage. The Lord told Toby to go to a certain lineage. So, you know, historically, it is uh, preferred that we deal with when we're procreating. It is preferred that we deal with our own nation. Now, uh, we, there's things called concubines and things like that where you mess with other nations, you know, uh, women. But during procreation, you know, in marriage, you're preferred to deal with your own nation. All right. But it's not a sin to go outside that. And I elaborated that because I know um, a lot of our women struggle with that, you know, and um, they take it personal because they see men can do it, but women can't. Well, women can do it. They can do it. But, you know, the the results are horrendous because the man is the seed. So if a woman goes and deal with a heathen as same way as a man would do, you're pretty much cutting your lineage off because that 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 child that any child that comes out of your womb is going to be a heathen. You know what I'm saying? Whereas a man, even though it's frowned upon on both sides because there was a woman that had an Egyptian husband with the one that cursed the most high, you know, and uh, and pretty much was destroyed. That proves that, you know, our women did it, too. And and it was cool because they left Egypt with Moses. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, he are going to be heathen. You know, but we're not digging into that part of the story, mainly digging into the, the uh, understanding and the. Uh, the social acceptance of dealing with heathen. You know what I'm saying? Now it's like totally misconstrued and manipulated to where, well, it's not because they try to do the, Miriam and um, Aaron try to do the same thing to Moses, but it's just that the Lord is not intervening, you know, as he did with, for, for Moses to defend him. Because the, the Lord turned Miriam to a leprous for challenging who Moses married. Okay? Um, so all the women that like to talk about, you know, Jake dealing with it, dealing with heathen women, you know, that's that's not a good look. All right. Um, but let's get back to the subject at hand. You know, um, going back to Israelites, which kind of segues really well, because our. One of the things that cause us to be wheat amongst tares is let's get this scripture real quick. So we're going to go to Isaiah chapter 11, verse 12. Just trying to find a proper one that just get to the point. It says, uh, and he shall set up an, an ensign for the nations, which pretty much is a sign and shall assemble the outcast of Israel and gather together the disperse of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Okay. So the Lord is gathering the outcasts of Judah from where? Uh, or, or the dispersed from the four corners of the earth, which means that's north, south, east, and west. Okay. And it ain't talking about in America. It's talking about the whole globe. So if you use common sense, which is not all that common, if you mess with another nation as a man, Remember, the man carries a seed because a woman is Israelite. She could be Israelite, but if she has a, 
a baby by a heathen, that, that child's a heathen. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if she has a child by a, a, a Moabite, which is a Chinese person, and then that child turns around and goes back to dealing with Israelites. So if that woman has a child and that child is a girl, she has a child by a heathen and that child's a girl, and that child goes back to uh, dealing with uh, Israelites, and she has a, you know, um, another girl, you know what I'm saying? Or let's say a, a, a male, that'd work better. If that, that Israelite woman has a child with a, a heathen or a motor, Moabite, and that male comes out, he may look a little mixed, may look a little Jake, and then that Jake deals with more Jake, Jake a deal with an Israelite woman that Israel that that child that comes out that that um those two will be a heathen but common sense should tell you that child will look more like an Israelite you know what I'm saying but they're a heathen by the the rule of law okay but on the flip side as a man if a man has a a, a a child with a heathen, a Moabite, let's use them for an example, since we got one in the background, that child comes out as a boy, right? And say like Vietnam, you go to war and lay, lay with them and then you leave. That woman has a boy by an Israelite man and that man lays with another Moabite and then have a boy and, that, and lays another ways with another more bite and keep having the more boys is to see this keep continuing is the point that why I choose a boy over a girl that seed that seed keeps going and it's not cut off that child is eventually going to look like a straight more bite okay and it only takes a couple generations two to three generations as you can see with Blake Griffin and his child as we predominantly predominantly use it as, as an example okay so this is how when we slept because we are sleeping as being apart from our culture. We didn't know hey, you're not supposed to do that. That's frowned upon. You know what I'm saying? Because you can start looking different and acting different. Because one of the things about dealing with heathen is that you, you can be wooed or swayed to take upon their ways. And that's what the Lord told, you know, told Solomon. And uh, uh, the Lord told us to not go in the way of the heathen for their, you know, um, you know, pretty much to have you dealing with their ways and serving their gods. Okay. So that's, that's synonymous with why, you know, we aren't to deal with them. And plus we're the chosen where there's a chosen seed. There's always been a, a chosen line. All right. It's just like a, uh, hate to give the example. It's just like a dog. You want to, you will want a purebred dog and aversion to a mutt. Okay. Um, Matthews, back to Matthews chapter 13, it says, uh, Matthew chapter 13, verse 25 says, but while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. Uh, but when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, sir, didst thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then half it tears. So it's like, you know, pretty much they knew, okay, it's a difference. Just like we know now, but we can't really tell. But you can see. You can see, but like, man, you kind of act like a Jake, you know, which is a video I'm going to show in post production after this video to where it's like, man, this, this person act black for lack of better words. You know, it's a, the words that Jake used. You got. You got wiggers, but you, then you got people that just act black. They don't even know how to. They just in there. You know what I'm saying? You got people that can survive. So-called heathens that can survive in the hood. Like, you know what I'm saying? And um, I'm not pr promoting black culture. But what I mean is that you invited to the cookout. You know what I'm saying? Like, no doubt you you fit in. You don't you don't got to try you don't got to look, uh, yeah, I listen to the 50 Cent and all that type of deal. You you, you are who you are naturally, and that invites you to the cookout. Those are the Jakes. I ain't talking about the ones that act like Jake or the Moabites that rehearse the breakdancing moves or rehearse these. Like, oh, boy, ain't got no special moves, but you can see he got some sauce and some salt and some flavor to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's doing some crazy stuff, 
because but because there are more bites that sit there and watch Jake culture even now because social media kind of helped that out. Like the news, the news anchor guy, he pretty much will watch all the moves and Esau mainly they'll watch all your moves and then they'll emulate it and then they'll take it from you. You know, but that's what you know, that's the difference between somebody that's just they just got the sauce. You can see. Okay? Difference from studying something and, 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 and re reiterating uh, it compared to just naturally being able to do the stuff. Okay? So uh verse twenty eight says, He said unto them, An enemy have done this. The servant said unto him, Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? So Another thing about the enemy doing it is during slavery, uh, our people were purposely um, mixed via through, uh, you know, um, rape and, and um, you know, buck breaking. And, you know, what I'm saying well, buck breaking is pretty much Esau dealing with the man. You know, what I'm saying. Uh, but the the Israelite, I mean, the Edomite man raping the Israelite woman. And, you know, it's like shit, you have a. A baby by him, you ain't gonna keep him, you know. So, you're gonna secretly hide him or do things of that nature, you know what I'm saying? You know, like, like, uh, life, you know, out of pappy, you know. Uh, Matthew's 28, um, in Slocky, I want to pass up this one point. It says, um, when it says, from whence hath it, uh, tears, um, Slocky. It says, um, verse 28 says, Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? So it's saying pretty much, oh shit, it's being mingled. We should separate them now before it gets worse, right? It says, but he said, nay, least we get, unleash ye gather up the tares. So that's telling you or telling us that we specifically won't know you can make a mistake and think that you're gathering wheat and you can gather a tear. Or you could think that you're throwing tear in the fire and it's wheat. So it's telling us that, look, no, don't don't sit there and say, oh, you're a Jake. You're not a Jake. You're a Jake. You're not a Jake. And I don't mean that when we say, oh, Bruce Lee is a Jake or Conor McGregor is a Jake. And, you know, that's that's speculation at the end of the day. And we can have a strong feeling about it. You know, even the guy that I'm showing right now, I have a strong feeling about it. But it's not a fact. But, you know, it's like, it's kind of clear cut. But it's the when you're going into the to intricacies of it, it's not a fact. Right? We'll, and, and let's just like y'all about to jump the gun. It says, uh, verse 30 says, let them both grow together until the harvest. And in the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, uh, gather ye together first the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them but gather the wheat into my barn. So uh uh the 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 reapers mainly mainly the angels going to have to they're going the ones that are, that's going that's going to know. So who are we to to sit there and say well you're not black enough. You know I had someone tell me I, because I can't grow a beard that hamites are ones can't grow beards and I might be a hamite but I believe they're scoffing. But they're just trying to bring out, trying to be a, a scholastic scoffer, for lack of better words. When I clearly favor a Native American more than I favor a, a, a Hamite, you know, on a superficial level. But they just try to pick the, the worst case scenario to fit me, you know, and just attach me to whatever scenario, you know, because Hamites aren't able to grow hair on their faces. You know, but what about my, my head shape, my eyes, my high cheekbones? What about that? You know, but... You know, and the fact that natives are rarely ones that have beards, right? But that goes without saying, you know, uh, but the point is, is that we, uh, let's get this scripture. We're going to keep the scriptures coming. It's being a demon, man. Phone is like typing up wrong letters. All right. Um. First John chapter four, verse one, it says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits where they are, they are of the most high, because many false prophets are going out into the world. You know, um, hereby know ye the spirit of the most high. Every spirit, uh -oh. Ending patrol. 
fuck. Shut the fuck up. Uh, hereby know ye the spirit of the Most High. Every spirit that confesseth that Yahweh Shai is come in the flesh is the spirit of the Most High. So I bring the scripture out, even though it's talking about the prophets and the message that you know that's bring that's being brung. You try the spirit, you know. So when when we're dealing as a as a man of the Lord, as a prophet, and when we're dealing with somebody, we tell them what the scriptures say. We show them, and if their spirit sincerely believes every portion of it, you know, um, some things you might struggle at on lack of understanding, but we are all one body. We're all one mind. So you're going to get it. You may just not know how to connect it like somebody that's more educated. Uh, but long story short, say somebody that looks like a Moabite comes up, and we're breaking it down, and they're like, okay, I understand, understand, and then they reflect the same energy that we reflect to how we became prophets, then we're not going to sit there and say, well, you look you look Chinese, bro, and your mom's Chinese and your dad's Chinese, and that's how we're going to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? It don't work like that, man. You know, uh, we go by the spirit. That's why you see within GMS, we have, you know, uh, uh, different tones and, 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 and looks of brothers. And, and we're hated because of that because they feel like we're letting heathen in, but you're being superficial, okay? Because we we follow the laws. We only deal with Israelite. You got to be an Israelite by blood to be saved. But at the end of the day, what if we got it wrong? <laughs> what the scriptures say, that the, it's gonna be a, the reaper is going to separate them. Because guess what? We could believe somebody that looks like a heathen is an Israelite, and we can get it wrong. But guess what's on the flip side? You could believe because somebody look like a Jake that they're Israelite and they're a whole heathen. So all you could do is do what you can in sincerity. You know what I'm saying? There's there's Israelites that man, look, look who I can't say look who killed Malcolm X, but you know, hypothetically or, or, or based, you know, outside of the conspiracy theory, but he was killed by his own. They, he was infiltrated his his system was infiltrated. Right, so that don't mean just because you're Jake, all Israel ain't of Israel. It's because you're an Israelite, and you could be actually you could be an enemy. You could be a whole op, man. So us preaching and, and teaching the truth is all about the production of uh producing, and and teaching them to wake people up. So no matter who's on our side doing it, I can't say no matter who's on our side. What I mean is that if he's a if he's a tear, and I think he's weak, and he's and he think he is. And he's bringing out precepts. The job is getting done. And at the end of the day, that nigga ain't going to make it. You know what I'm saying? Ain't like we want to bring heathen in. We're not trying to do that. We're trying to bring Israelites in. And we believe in the scriptures that Israelites look like other nations at time. You know what I'm saying? Most of the most more times than not. All right. And and we stick to the scriptures and, and we give every Israelite a chance. No matter how you look. Long as your spirit is right. All right. So I just wanted to share that. So with that being said, I hope hope hopefully this is edifying. And again, um, you know, don't judge a book by its cover. Try the spirit by the spirit, whether they be of the most high. You tell them what the scriptures say and if they accept it, then it's cool. Anybody, you know what I'm saying? That's just simple and plain. You know, uh, um, we know the we know the end game to the heathen and the wicked. So. There's no reason to, to to be trying to strike a fight with everybody or create a segregation. It's going to happen. We're going to get into our city with the four uh, the the four walls with the um the four gates on each side, and only being Israel and you know the Lord gathering the the the, the dispersed, you know uh, from the four corners of the earth, which are Israelites, that innumerable multitude, uh, you know so. Uh, it's going to play out. There's no reason to catch attitudes or beef with people behind something like that. You know, when the scriptures say that we, we don't know. I don't care if you have malicious intent or good intent. You know, GMS, us having good intent and in, 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 in doing it as sincerely as possible and Jake being superficial. Because the niggas that are superficial could be right. Like, man, it's a whole heathen and, and we think it's an Israelite and it could be right. 
And we can say, man, y'all just being simple because every nigga ain't a nick ain't an Israelite. And we could be right. It don't matter. At the end of the day, what matters is that we're teaching and then what we're doing is in sincerity and in truth. Long as we believe what the scriptures say, which says that you have to be an Israelite by blood in order to receive salvation. And we're doing and, and, and grafting in based off that context and, and uh, belief, then we're good. All right. But to make something dross or, or wicked to say it's all about black people. Now you tripping. You know what I'm saying? Because now you're dealing with color and how somebody looked instead of saying, OK, if you got to be an Israelite by blood and you got to believe. Those two things. Okay? So, with that being said, uh, I want to say call all y'all by Shimmy Al Shai, by Kokadash, y'all by Shimmy Al Shai, by Shimmy Kokadash, by Kadam, the Bahamas Apostles, who are elders who rule well, which are GMS and blessed society to your brothers out there teaching the German truth sincerity. Oh, FYI, Edom can't make it. Just because he didn't going to be into the new world, don't mean they're going to be into the new kingdom. Niggas got that misconstrued. They believe that since Israel is going to be saved and being in New Jerusalem and the gates are going to be open, that heathen going to be flowing in and out. That don't mean that they're going to be staying there like it's the Marriott. They're going to be dropping their tights off. OK, they're going to be coming up for wisdom and knowledge and understanding. OK, just like a library. If I go to a library, I don't mean I stay in a library. I don't mean the library is my home if I flow in and in and out of it. I mean, my job is my home. If I clock in and out and come in into this job and spend time there, this is still not my home. Still not for me. Okay, let's not be simple. Okay, so, hey, shalom. This gotta be the blackest Korean I ever seen. He been going in almost two hours. I've been calling since I've been here. What? You might be stopped. What's wrong with the house phone? You rush a man out of the restaurant. No, Jonathan, I've been here since 8 o'clock. Look at it, got the 9 30. You used to 8 to 9 30, he ain't got there. Shit. No, he's not in the bathroom. I know he ain't in the bathroom. Hey, yo. Two hours? Hey, shit. I got the bubble <laughs> Rocky, call me. I've been calling you. I don't know where you at. Shit. That motherfucking ass was probably in the fish. Shit. All right, check the message. You think you want fishing? I think so. You know the mm -hmm. number to the fish creek? Call the fish creek. That's crazy. He, what the motherfucking ass here? here? You call the fish creek. That doesn't shut up. Uh, that's getting on your nerve with that. How come you got them fish creek, Jonathan? You know, that kind of